All right, so here's a cool little motor that I'm going to use for my generator. Um, it's kind of damaged here, but that's all right. Um, it'll be really cool. It'll work. All right, so it looks like I got her all wired up. And now we're going to check the voltage. So the red and black obviously goes to the battery, and we have the meters hooked up. The right is the right meter is uh, pointing to the battery, which we got 12.74 volts. On the left is going to uh, measure the AC volts. So let's let's start it up. See what we get. All right, so it looks like we got 141 volts AC on the left, and we're still getting about 12.5655 volts. But the problem is this thing is going to drain like crazy. So what we need to do is somehow regenerate some power back to the battery. So let's do that. All right, so it looks like I have everything installed. I have the um, AC plug and our meters back in. So let's um, see if we could measure our voltage again. Let me hook up the battery. All right, so we got 137 volts. 69 hertz, 11.4 watts coming from the light bulb, and now let's see if we can hook up the battery charger because we're dropping voltage really quick. All right, all right. So I got the battery charger hooked up. There it is, at 10 amps, using AGM, we're at 133 volts, 67 hertz, and about 10 watts. And if you notice the battery voltage, it's about 12.3940. Still fluctuating, but it's not as it's not dropping as quickly as before. So I just want to try out a drill. I'm gonna plug right in here. See how much power we can get from this thing. Not bad. See the watts dropped to 9.3, and also the volts dropped to 125, but the hertz is still above 60. So, that's actually not bad. Turn this off real quick. So we're at 12.44 volts. Not bad because we were able to charge it. 
Let's turn it back on. Now we're at 12.41 volts. Not bad for this little setup. 